What's up legends? Today's review is the Ghost Cinnabon collab in both whey and vegan. You vegans have been asking for a long time. Guess what? Now you got a limited edition flavor and in a vegan. Can't beat it, right? So, hey, this is dropping next Wednesday, which is March 1st. If you want to wait till the stores, it'll be March 23rd in GNC. But uh, definitely grab it off the webpage. Be at your doorstep in no time you can give it a go. So let's talk about the formulas a little bit. 130 calories in the whey per scoop, 110 in the vegan per scoop. So the cool thing about both products, whey and vegan, they both have transparent labels. So 12.5 grams per scoop, you get of whey protein isolate, 10 grams of whey protein concentrate, 2.5 grams of whey, hydrolyte, um, whey hydrolyzed isolate. And in the vegan, it breaks down into pea, organic pumpkin watermelon seed. So you have in here 12 grams of pea concentrate, 5.5 grams of organic pumpkin, and 2.5 grams of watermelon seed. And again, right on the side there, so you can see per scoop what you're getting. 20 grams of protein per scoop in vegan, 25 in whey. So for the reviews, I always like to do about six to eight ounces for the whey. Vegan is a little bit thicker, a little bit grainier in texture. I do about 12 ounces. So I've done one scoop in each. And as you can see, mixability wise, there's really no particles, no floaties, anything like that. This mix is really easy, but the one test, oh, cinnamon goodness. Cinnamon goodness, just like you're getting a fresh cinnamon bun from Cinnabon. So one thing I really like to do with uh, vegan protein is I put it in a bowl and I add just enough water or milk to make like a pudding. You got what's called the sludge, the sludge test, the pudding test. So I love this. You can throw like berries in there, granola, uh, spread it on rice cakes, bagels, English muffins, whatever. Phenomenal way. It's a little bit more voluminous. You can kind of get a lot, lot thicker than whey is, but you want to know how they taste. So let's get to it. So... I'm gonna go with the whey first. And again, this is about six ounces. I usually mix these with cashew milk, almond milk. You can use water, whatever you prefer. But um, yeah, just give it a go. So, man, it's like cinnamon cereal milk where you open the tub and the aroma just boof, fills up the entire room. So how is this gonna differ from cinnamon cereal milk? Flavor-wise, taste-wise, let's go, cheers. Oh, that's much different. Oh, wow. So don't get me wrong. The cinnamon is pretty strong out of the gate. Cinnamon sugar, very, very good. But here is the kicker. The back end is where you get that buttery undertone of like a fresh baked good. So when you're looking for a cinnamon roll, yes, it's going to have that cinnamon sugar, but you got to have that buttery taste, like the flakiness of the crust of a cinnamon roll. That's what you get with this. Now you don't really get like the cream cheese frosting or anything like that, but to replicate a good cinnamon roll, it's got to have that balance of cinnamon sugar and that buttery undertone of the baked good. The way, spot on. Vegan, and again, this can be a little bit thicker, might be a little bit grainier in texture and flavor, but how is it? Because I've got to know, right? All right, here we go. Cheers. So of course, the vegan's gonna have a little bit of that, that grainy, earthly undertone. Again, it's vegan protein, pea, um, organic pumpkin, watermelon seed. You still get that. You still get what you get in the way. The cinnamon sugar, the buttery undertone. The elements of a cinnamon roll with cinnamon, cinnamon is present. And the kicker is, it's not overpowering. It's a very, very good level of balance of cinnamon sugar. So if you're scared like, oh, it's going to be too strong or anything like that, no. Ghost is very good at finding the middle ground and the complementary flavors to really mesh things together. So either way, you're not going to go wrong. I think it's better than cinnamon cereal milk. And if you like anything cinnamon roll or cinnamon, it's a must. Again, March 1st, you're talking uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central. You can use my coupon code ChefBob at checkout, but I got to get the oven fired up. I gotta get something in the oven with these. It's time to bake. So Chef Bob's here to cook. Sludge is always a dub. Bowl shakes are awesome. 
But if you're going for purely on flavor and you don't mind dairy, whey is always going to taste a little bit better. But for all you vegans out there, you got your limited edition flavor, you got a new flavor, definitely grab some when it drops on March 1st. Hope you guys enjoy the review.